you know, just letting the talent take over them. With Jason, what's it like for him? You know, I mean, Jalen gets the head right? but he comes in and does his job. Just talk about what it's like to be in that situation for him. Yeah, I mean, it, it's really special. Um, because, you know, it, he can very easily be a guy that, you know, down in the dumps, um, jealous, whatever, you know, you name it. But for him, it's never about that. It's never, it's about him being ready for his moment. And you see that each time he puts on his uniform and he goes out on the field. And that's what, I, it's really remarkable for me to see that out of him. And, you know, when he just commands the huddle and, you know, we just click on all cylinders when he or Jalen's on the field. So um, it's just super important for him to keep being the same guy that he is. And, you know, that's why we love him. It was a very tight game. Yeah. Yeah. You, you feel like you guys started to wear them down? Um, yeah, I mean, it was really adverse, and that's a good ball team that we just played. And, um, you know, for us, it was just more about executing. We weren't executing the way we should have, making too many mistakes, you know. And the, the first game jitters is kind of a thing, but for us, we wanted to execute perfectly, and, you know, that's obviously hard, but. You know, we're going to go back in this weekend, look at film, and just keep on getting better. Was McDuffie excited to get a score in his first carry? Oh, yeah. I mean, he was amped up all week, and, you know, he knew he was going to get his shot. And when he did, you know, obviously it was his first carry. You know, he took it in the end zone. So, I'm just super proud of him and super proud of the entire running back room for what we've been able to do so far. The crowd, student section that showed yeah. up tonight, thoughts on, on how the booth looked in then week one? Yeah, I mean, that's special, you know. And it's, I mean, that's what we need, you know, and just to know that we have so much support from, you know, our students and, you know, the, the community is really cool. And, um, we need that each and every week that we play at home. Yeah, oh, yeah, 100%. You know, see what their tendencies are, you know, just get a head start and, you know, game plan and just see how they are as a team. You know, that's important just to get that edge. And, um, yeah, I'm super excited for that matchup. You mentioned everybody in the running back room is just offer something different. I mean, how would yeah. you kind of describe the different skill sets in the running back room? Yeah, I mean, it, for, I mean, Duff and Daniel, they're kind of like battle off of each other. I mean, those are like the more bruiser power power guys, but Daniel, you know, he's a freak of nature, and so is Duff too, but, you know, and then me and Sevy kind of offer more like the gadget type guys, and we obviously can run inside the tackles too, but, you know, that's kind of the mix up that you have with us as a running back room, and what makes it really hard for defenses to cover. With the quarterback situation, which is how important do you think it was to have that safety net of the kind of run game there tonight? Yeah, I mean, for us, I mean, we weren't worried about not being able to throw the ball. We knew Jason was, <clears throat> excuse me, um, really capable of throwing the ball around too, so, um, you know, for us, it was just about game planning, executing, uh, at a high level, and that's, I think we did that. To have four running backs get, get it into the end zone, what does that make you? Yeah, I mean, it's special. Um, our running back room is truly special, and, you know, I'm super proud of the effort that we made just to get to this point all healthy and all striving up the field, and we're just a group of brothers and just wanting to see each other succeed.